Hey, today a young man, I was at a lecture and a young man asked me a question about should I be afraid of my job being taken away by a robot or a machine? And we were talking about technology, innovation, and things that will come in the future. And I thought for a second before I answered him, because I didn't just want to burn off nothing, because I wanted to give him a, a, a solid explanation on my views about what technology and innovation brings to the table. And I told him, man, very honestly, only you can control what's going to take away your job. Honestly, you know, just to be as simple as possible, I do think that technology innovation does one main thing, and that's take jobs. Because with innovation brings automation and a lot of things that we used to be able to do in the past where it took actual individuals to take, we now have machines that can do that. Machines are in the warehouses pulling tons of orders. We have machines and fast food restaurants taking orders. You know, we had people two or three years ago asking for us to increase the minimum wage. Well, they did it, and look what happened. A lot of these companies made big capital investments into some of these machines that can make burgers and do all this kind of stuff and take orders with the kiosks. And, you know, they increased the wages, but they decreased the amount of people that was working there also. Same thing with the airlines. You see what all used to have those rows of different people at the ticket counters. And what's happened now? You got the kiosk. You can check yourself in, check yourself out, put the stuff in. Probably each airline probably took about maybe a couple hundred jobs uh, and from a, a ticket and, uh, and baggage check-in standpoint. You look at what innovation does. Um, it causes changes. It disrupts. You see that with Uber and uh, the ta Uber and Lyft in the taxi cab industry. You see it with Airbnb, with the hotel and lodging industry. Things change. And the best thing you can do, and that's what I told the young man, is try to make yourself recession-proof. Well, how do you make yourself recession-proof? What I always tell them, the world is always going to need two things. That's thinkers and fixers. We'll never have enough thinkers and fixers. If you're always going to be a type of person that's a doer, you're going to have problems. Doers only have a short lifespan. You might get lucky where you work at a plant and turn a wrench and press a button for 30, 40, 50 years. You're more lucky than anything. But I'm going to be honest with you. If you're the person that can design or innovate ways for that wrench to move by itself or set up certain systems, the world will always need you. If you're the person that has to repair a certain machine or install it and make sure it's running efficiently, you'll always be needed. But if you're a straight doer, and the only thing you can do is just do a particular uh, job or perform a, a specific task, you have a limited shelf life. Okay? And like I said, again, you may get lucky and you can withstand uh, the test of time. But far too often, especially in the information age that we're in right now, you're going to have to come to the table with a certain skill set if you're able to survive or be long lasting. If not, it doesn't mean you're going to die, but it does mean you're going to put yourself in a situation where you're going to have to always ask people for assistance. You're always going to ask, can you give me a job? Can you hire me? Can you do this? Can you do that? But if you're a creator and if you are a fixer and you are a builder, the world will always need you. The onus is on you to find the opportunities for where you are needed at. I ain't saying that saying that because you can create, fix, and all this other kind of stuff, people are going to break their doors down. You still got to put some effort in to kind of find what the opportunities are. But trust me, those opportunities are out there. So again, uh, I just wanted to make sure I give people those, you know, because people look at it from a negative standpoint, what innovation and technology does and everything, but embrace it because things are going to change. Who would have known a couple, you know, 20 years ago, what we, what we do now on the tele, on the cell phone, that we have these kind of capabilities to take pictures, make phone calls, work on your computer and do all this kind of stuff, pr practically run businesses, make movies, do all kinds of stuff just with the phone in our hand. And just imagine what we'll be able to do in the next 20, 30 years. Okay, we'll probably be flying around like the Jetsons. Put yourself in a, in a position where you can navigate through that kind of world. Don't put yourself in a position where you're going to be constantly begging and asking for opportunities in the world. If you know it's going, if you know it's going to rain outside, get your butter umbrella. Don't just walk out there and say, "Man, I knew it was going to rain. I seen the cloud coming." I'm telling you now. Hey, well, look. Good luck with everything. Again, this is Deontay Burton, host of Change Your Lives. Make sure you go to the YouTube channel, Change the Lives, hosted by yours truly, Deontay Burton. Got a ton of videos on the station I want you guys to check out. But most importantly, hit that blue man in the bottom right-hand corner. Take care.